Mr. Speaker, this is the legislation that we received this morning. On principle, nobody in this House should vote for legislation which he doesn't understand, has not seen, and contains hundreds and hundreds of pages with many provisions that we know nothing about. But, Mr. Chairman, we do know some of the aspects that we're going to be asked to vote on. We do know that in a time when millions of elderly people are unable to pay for their prescription drugs, when they're paying more and more for private insurance to cover what Medicare does not cover, we do know that we're going to be asked to cut Medicare by $115 billion. And that is wrong. And we also know that there are significant cuts in Social Security Administration and in veterans programs. And that is wrong. Mr. Speaker, in order to pay for the cuts in Medicare and Social Security Administration and in veterans programs, what the Congress is proposing is to provide huge tax breaks for the wealthiest people in this country, precisely the people who do not need them. The wealthiest 5% of Americans will receive almost half of the tax cuts. The upper 20% will receive over 70% of the benefits. And the upper 1%, when this plan is full-blown, the upper 1% will receive more benefits from this package than the bottom 80%. So the people who really need the help are not getting the help. The people who do not need the help are getting more help than they are entitled to. Under this plan, the average tax cut for middle-income families and individuals will be less than $200. The wealthiest 1%, however, will receive over $16,000 in tax breaks. As the New York Times said today in an editorial, and I quote, but even after last minute horse trading around the edges, the deal remains unfairly tilted in favor of the better off citizens of society. It drills scores of new loopholes into the tax code, mostly for the benefit of very wealthy families at the cost of opening up large deficits early next century, conveniently beyond the 10-year period that the deal tracks." End of quote. In other words, what is going to happen is 10 years from now, when we have all of these loopholes for the wealthy and for large corporations, we're going to be back here again with another huge deficit, and you're going to have people here saying, we've got to cut more into Medicare, more into Social Security, more into veterans programs, more into housing. So my friends, before we pass a budget like this, first of all, have the courage to look at it. And second of all, let us not balance the budget on the backs of the weak and the vulnerable in order to give huge tax breaks to the wealthy. And I would yield to my friend from Rhode Island. Gentlemen, we'll four times the tax cut of the bottom time, exactly what I regular say. order.